Dave in Cornwall, England writes, you said, oh boy, every time somebody starts it off with, you said, <laughs> I got to be careful here. Okay, that the original capture in DSD, that you'll be converting that at some point to DXD and then mixing using the Pyramix DAW before converting back to DSD. Um, however, this is my question. If that conversion from DXD back to DSD introduces a small amount of loss, as you said, why not just stay in DXD for high-res downloads? Obviously, to create a physical SACD, the conversion needs to happen. I have a, a, a DXD recording of Patricia Barber, that which, uh, which I believe was recorded direct to DXD, and it sounds fantastic. As a software engineer, my head's going, why add an extra conversion step if, after mixing the DSD file, is playable? It's a really good question. So let's start back from the beginning. We know that DSD is the perfect capture medium. And if you don't agree with that, that's okay. Take a deep breath and be all right with it. This is our opinion, okay? We can back it up with all kinds of stuff, but right now, let's just, let's just go with the flow, baby. <clears throat> let's just go with the flow. Let's just assume right now that the way that we like to do it, and to our ears, DSD, pure DSD, is the ultimate capture mechanism that we have today. Might change tomorrow, but that's what it is. Now, in order to mix DSD, in order to level adjust and do all that sort of stuff, we have to convert it to one of two forms, analog or PCM. Those are really, to my knowledge, the only two ways to actually do it. So in the Pyramix system, they, at the insistence of Sony, uh, my understanding goes, they, they choose to convert it to PCM. And that PCM is 352, okay? Uh, which is double that of 176, which is double that of, uh, you know, uh, 88, which is double that of 44, blah, blah, blah. We call it DXD because Sony made them come up with something. They, they couldn't say that it's a pure DSD conversion, which they were trying to do in the first place. At least this is a story I heard. And so they had to call it something. They didn't want to just call it PCM, so they called it DXD. Um, and, and there you have it. it and I want to get away from using that term because it's, it's PCM. It's 352 PCM. So I don't like the way that sounds. It's okay. It's not as good by a long shot of DSD. So when you listen to the pure DSD through the D-Day converter, it sounds Glorious. It sounds as close to the original recording as I have ever heard any capture system do it. And I'm listening to the original recording, and then I'm listening to the playback of it on the same exact speakers. I would defy most people to tell me if it's, is it live or Memorex? Um, it, it, there really isn't any difference. When you then take it through the way that Pyramix decimates it to 352 PCM, it loses a lot of the life that was there. I, you know, I don't particularly like the way that sounds. And if that were my option, <clears throat> if that were my only option, I wouldn't do it. Absolutely wouldn't do it. I would have gone and stayed with what we currently do before the big changeover is coming, analog. And that is the way most DSD is mixed and level changed and mastered and all that is in the analog domain. That type of process, they will tell you, well, analog is an infinite resolution. Uh, there is no sample rate involved and it's, it's as close as you're going to get to the original and it is the best compromise we got. And if the only way to compare it to was the Pyramix DXD 352, I would agree with that. And that's why we haven't done it up to this date. By using this special Zephyr filter that the guys at BitPerfect developed over the last 10, 15 years, it's a 
pretty tricky filter, all of a sudden that limitation is gone. All of a sudden, we've got something I can't tell the difference of on all the fancy equipment we have. If I listen to it on after a Zephyr conversion, I have a PCM file and I have a DSD file, there is no difference to be heard. If I do the Pyramix DXD 352, I can tell instantly that one is the Pyramix, it's lost its life, it's just eh. and the DSD is con considerably better. Zephyr, that doesn't happen. So for the first time, we actually have a choice between a Zephyr PCM file uh, running at 352 or 176, whatever, and a analog version. And to my ear, the Zephyr PCM 352 version absolutely sounds better than the analog if you convert it. Now, so much is dependent on the D to A converter that you're using, because remember, when we convert something from one form to another, we have to do it with a converter. Well, the quality of that converter has a ton to do with how it's going to sound. So there's all these variables going on. But that said, with a little bit of background, that's, that's where the part that you, you haven't included here. So now, why go back? Why not just go to PCM in the first place. Well, we don't know how to do that. We don't know how to capture live recorded music with PCM that sounds anywhere near as good as DSD. Don't know how to do it. We've got the Pyramid system. We could do it in DXD. Not even close. I, can, I instantly can tell you that one's been recorded. This one is live. It's click back and forth. It's easy. With DSD, can't do it. So we are committed to recording in DSD for that reason. I don't know how to do it in PCM. Okay, so that's why that. But now once we convert it using Zephyr, now we have two identical sounding pieces. Well, when you buy from us an octave recording, you'll get it in DSD and you'll get it in PCM. And that PCM that you're going to get is the Zephyr file before it's converted back to DSD. So yes, you will. that's what you're going to get. Why do we convert it back to DSD? Well, because people want to hear it in DSD. And yes, there's, is there a little bit of loss? Yeah, anytime you do an SDM like that, there's going to be a little bit of loss. So one could say that the PCM version of an octave recording, as long as it's gone through a Zephyr filter, is actually potentially better than its DSD counterpart after it's been mixed. That could be true. Absolutely. But we're still going to do it. The difference is very small, and much of it is dependent on the converters, etc. All right. I've rambled long enough, <laughs> and I'm sure there's a million hairs all over the world going, ah, what's this guy talking about? So, okay. There you go. Take it or leave it. I'll talk to you later. Bye.